Hello. How's everyone today? What day are we on? Friday. TGIF. It's a weekend, everyone. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. I've got a bit of a busy weekend. Because I've been meaning to do it all week and I haven't done it. So tomorrow I'm going to do it. I'm going to sort my balcony out. Because it's a jumping ground at the moment. So I'm going to sort that out. And once I've sorted all that out, I'm going to move my table that I use for my laptop and everything into the balcony. Because if we get any nice weather, it'll be lovely in there. If we get any nice weather. I think we had our summer about, what, three weeks ago? When we had some really, really nice weather. I did say then, if you blink, you'll miss it. So, the past few days, it's been a bit miserable, a bit cloudy, chilly, cold, you name it. But that's Scotland for you. In fact, that's the UK for you. You want somewhere warm to go, do not come to the UK. You're not going to get it. And if you do decide to come to the UK, bring yourself clothing for four seasons. Four seasons. So you've got your winter clothing, your, your spring clothing, your summer clothing and your autumn clothing. Because I can guarantee you, you're going to need at least one of those items. If not all four. Anyway. How's everyone? Well, I've just said that. I have had not Right. I've decided tonight you know, we're just going to go over the facts, what we know so far. Because it's getting to that point now, with this J Slater case, where it's just a load of BS coming out. Occasionally you might find someone talking with a bit of intelligence. You know what I mean? But otherwise it's just a load of BS. And to be honest with you, I don't need need that neither do you I'm fed up of this go from me I'm fed up of the now arguments and disagreements coming out over it right I, I think what there's a young lad who was up here a tiktoker who was up here and uh, he was stating, like, because, let's see if I can find that statement. I should have got that one ready. All right. Let's have a look, see if there's a statement on here. 49,977, but we don't know how much of that she has withdrawn. Right. 3rd of July. Right. She has changed this because in the one statement she didn't mention this other TikToker. What's his name? I can't think of his name. And he's saying how apparently she's put in this statement that is not no longer in this statement. And I'll put it up here for you to see. So she she's gone back on, edited it, and took his name off because apparently she put his name on it, stating that. Uh, it's, it was in like the third 
part time this section here right and sort of like stated how she was currently looking after Paul Armour which she is but he don't need the help he said from the beginning he doesn't need their help right but then there's another TikToker who's out there searching he's been out there two weeks and he said to take his name off it because she hadn't gave him no money at all she hadn't helped him he's paid for everything but then it came out that she had helped him. She'd sent him seven hundred and some odd pound for accommodation and all that lot. Right? So she had helped him. And to me it just seems a bit of a well, I've got all this money, why can't they help me with my food and my drinks and all this lot? But then he says, Well, if they're only giving water, buying water for you, I don't drink water. I only drink appetizer. Now, me, I can't drink anything with appling. Not even cider. Yeah. Right. And, um, I'm thinking, well, actually, you're, because Paul Arnett is on TikTok, he earns from that. He's earning money from that. And that's why he said he doesn't want any money from them. He doesn't need it. He went out there as a volunteer. Now, as be great, I would be grateful for what... If I went out there as a volunteer, I'd be grateful if anyone just gave me a bottle of water for the day or a couple of, bottle of bottles of water for the day or some fruit. You know what I mean? For, for, to eat on Munchang as you walk, to, uh, looking, searching. Yeah, and he's getting paid as well on his TikTok page. So I think it's a bit uh, too much to ask. It is too much. It, it's like let's see. Oh, well, she's got that girl from me. She, she's she's going to help us. Yes, yeah, she has helped you. She gave you your accommodation. Now, to be honest with you, I believe that GoFundMe should be saved up and used for specialist searches, right? Not hikers, specialist searches. People who have got the right equipment to do all these searches on the mountains and everything. Not for some TikToker to go over there and just go, right, I'm just going to search here and here and here and here. Right? They may have had it set out as a plan, as what they was doing each day, but they went over as volunteer. Volunteers don't get paid. So, I've tried to find it. I'll see if I can get up on TikTok. TikTok's been a bit funny with me lately. It's not always showing me everything. Won't let me play some of the videos. So it's a bit f awkward. Anyone on Twitter from the UK? If so, what did you think of the um, results last night? I'm going to catch it again. I'm going to see if I can find. No, I can't find you. But 
it just seems like he's expecting him to pay for everything and it doesn't it doesn't work like that as a volunteer, I'm sorry. So But, I saw this earlier, this was from a week before um, Jay went missing, right, now that's that. Ayub, Kwasim, Kwasim, whatever his name is, that's him. Who's he talking to? In here they say, he reckon, it says it looks like Lucy, but she looks a bit too pale for Lucy. I think it's just some random girl. But then again, I don't know because it, people are very bad at taking videos, aren't they? Right. So, um, I don't know what to think of that. I think it could, could just be some random girl. But I still say Lucy knows a lot more. Anyway. What was I saying? Where's my notebook? We're looking at the facts, right? Let me get my lamp. Right. It's about Jay Slater. This like God, my mouth will go to where I want to go. Talking about Jay Slater. This like This young lad. Right. I think everyone's forgetting about this young lad. This is about Jay Slater. He's been missing out since the 17th of June in Tenerife. After he attended the NGR, is it musical, music festival? Right. Fact. That's a fact. One. He was reported to have left within, with two men and went to Airbnb just outside of Moscow. That's a fact. So they say. Don't forget, with all this information, a lot of this is coming from Lucy May. Lucy May and Brad. The owner of the shop below, or the Airbnb, whoever, Said she spoke to him twice, both times asking about bus times on the 17th. Once, once about, about between half seven and eight o'clock. Then she says 20 minutes later, the lady, lady saw him walking uphill from Airbnb in wrong direction. Fact. Four. 
He had a FaceTime call with Brad. We was laughing and joking. Like, look where I am. Know what I mean? All fun and laughter. Uh, then, he has a phone call. Lucy, frantic. He's frantic by now. Bear in mind, he'd just come off a phone call with Brad where he was laughing and joking. And then all of a sudden, he's frantic. He's cut his leg. He's got no water. He's lost. He can't go back. Can't go back to the Airbnb. He's lost. He don't know where he is. So then the police were informed, and a search was started. Round right about the same time, a GoFundMe was set up by Lucy May. Although the parents did say they wasn't setting up any GoFundMe, but then they. Co- they uh, talked with Lucy and they agree, okay, we'll have that go fund me. Then a TikToker, Paul Arnett, goes out to help with search. Fair dues on the guy. Now, a lot of people are running him down. How he's all doom and gloom and he's moaning about this and moaning about that. Well, I'm sorry, but he goes out to search and then he's stood around waiting for hours and hours and hours until they do a just so they can do a press release. That isn't a search. Then Mark William flies out to help family and to help find Jay, stating if he has all the information, he can find Jay in three days. But how do you think Spanish police would react to that? I know how I'd react. I'd go, well, yeah, boom, there's the information. Find him. Clock's counting. You know what I mean? Then police call out for volunteers, experienced people who know how to navigate that sort of terrain. Yeah? Not the next door neighbor type of people. Right? And, um, then, because that had a very low turnout, because only six turned up, which was very low, a bit sad really, but they did only give 24 hours notice. After that, the search was called off. Since then, that's when the rumour mill has been going over time. Over time. And as I said, with every lie, Behind it is the truth. All right? So you got, when you listen to people or you read something, you've got to pick out, okay, that isn't true. So what is the truth? You know what I mean? And the truth is normally the opposite to what they're saying, in my eyes. That's just my opinion. Right? It's the opposite to what they're saying. And then there's, it came out about... Uh, have he stole a watch. Now, why wasn't this mentioned at the beginning? Why didn't Lucy say this at the beginning? Why didn't Brad say that in his interview? Why? So, none of that comes out. It only comes out because... So many people will start talking about it. But apparently the investigators can confirm it is true a watch was stolen. But they've got no evidence. They've got no... Conf- well, they haven't got any... He said... he. What was it he said? Hold on, I'll see if I can find it. No. Um, no. Uh, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, we're going to listen to this. All right, let's listen to this. Joking adverts.
Are we on the right? We think I then. All right. Oh, God. Right, so he's saying because his friends were talking about him uh, stealing this watch and there was a, a Snapchat of him wearing the watch on the way to the Airbnb because I've got it from his sunglasses. Someone zoomed in on his sunglasses. It wasn't a Rolex, it was not a Rolex, it was another brand, a really expensive pair, a really expensive watch, but not a Rolex, right? And, um, but apparently they said. He's saying he stole a Rolex. It wasn't a Rolex. If he stole it, it wasn't a Rolex. It was another brand of watch. And then he says how he was scared to go back. I said, you got my cat every night. Right? Um, baby. Come on. Come up on my lap. Come on. Come on, come up, come up if you're going to be quiet, yeah, what's up the moaning then, right, come up then, come on, anyway, so, um, he said he was scared to go back, but I don't know, because he stood outside having a cigarette in that picture, which we can see in this, I believe. Got a picture of it in here. I think it has. Um, no, has it? I don't know. No, no, I thought it did. Right. Now, this is quite a long bit, but it's got a lot of stories. Anyway, and then there's videos going about skating, and it's a viral video. That it was Jay Slater. It wasn't Jay Slater. It was a Russian guy from, what, 10 years ago? 9, 10 years ago? 
who was beaten up badly, very badly, for aring a young a young girl. Aring and essaying a young girl. Right? From nine or ten years ago. And that is not right. This is why it's gone mad now. Since since the search has gone off, it's just literally gone off the scale. Right? The rumours, the f stupid videos going about, um, the Rolex watch being stolen and it wasn't a Rolex. Yes, there was a watch. I don't, but if there was a watch stolen, it wasn't reported. Right? Um, so we can't even confirm that. We've just got his friends saying, Jay wouldn't make that up. No, he wouldn't. But you would. You know what I mean? Anything to actually take us away. It's another distraction by using this watch. It's another distraction to take us away from finding Jay and what happened to him. That's all it is. It's like white noise. White noise. You've got to, just got to let that go. Because at the end of the day, we're talking about a 19-year-old lad who went missing on the 17th. Did something happen on the Sunday? After we know there was an argument at the at that bar, right? And we know that something was happening on the beach because we're seeing figures on the beach. We've got the video, and <coughs> we've got <coughs> Lucy's voice on it. Yeah. But I think Lucy and Brad are in, into the in this so far up to their ears. And I think Brad needs to come clean. I really do. He put out a statement saying, you lot all must be needing your heads checked and all this lot of you think I had anything to do with this. Uh, no, we don't need your heads checked, mate. We need you to tell the truth. Because you're not telling us the truth. <coughs> <coughs> so, so we've got all this white noise going on. One about Rolex watch, which it wasn't a Rolex watch. And, <coughs> <coughs> the only thing I found out about Rolex was a tablet, a pill. Right, an ecstasy, ecstasy, pill. Where two people in Ireland have died from it. Right? Um, we've got... Let me, I heard as well, apparently after that uh, so-called scuffle on the beach... Right, an ambulance was called. Well, that would be easy to check, wouldn't it? As I said, check the hospitals. If an ambulance was called, they'll have it in their notes, their records. And if it's true what Lucy said, how her and Brad, what was he? Was it got a taxi and went up there? Right? But that'd be easy to prove as well because of the taxi. Shows down all the taxi drivers. So I hope the law enforcement are doing this, are checking all these taxi drivers, are. I hope they are, A, one, doing a forensic search on that rental car, two, checking Lucy's story about how they got a taxi up there and all this lot to where his phone last pinged and everything. That would be easy to find out. Uh, C, 
Was there an ambulance called that night? Was there someone with a leg injury? Right? So, it, it just seems so out of it. It just seems totally out of it. Now, where was it? Uh, what was it? Uh, what was the guy I was looking for? Let's put it over here so I can see what I'm seeing. Um, mm -hmm. oh, and this is the other story I heard. Hi, that apparently the person who he robbed the watch off. The owner, that woman who spoke, is related to that person. That's how weird this is getting now. This is how, how out of control this is getting. And I just feel sorry that Jay Slater is being forgotten about. Right? Forget about the guy from me. Forget about Rolex. Forget about watches, right? The last ping, as we know now, right? That's where the search needs to focus on. Because <coughs> <coughs> if he's up there, he's not going to be far from his phone. Like I said, if he's got no water, it's going to be really dehydrated as well because A is out in the sun, B is just coming off a three day bender. And you imagine waking up, I've never woke up with a hangover, never in my life. And there's been times when I've totally been knocked out to the full of times. Right? And I've never woke up with a hangover. Yet everyone else I know who was sober, I put this way, I was so bone off to go in the taxi with my friends home and come into my block and get to my right flat and get myself in my flat. I sobered up pretty quickly when I heard about what had been going on. So, you know what I mean? I was ready to go and kick some guy's door in. That's how sober I was. And so... Oh, God, this cat is doing my head in. Does anyone want a cat called Toby? He's lovely. He really is. You can hear him in the background. He's lovely. He just cries all the time, though. Even though he's got food there. He's got flipping food there. He won't eat whiskers fish food. He won't eat like, anything with fishing. So I had to buy Lee, like, <coughs> poultry, <coughs> like the beef, lamb, the chicken, turkey. Put any food down with fish, anything with fish, and it's like, nope, I'm not having that. Anyway, forget about my cat for now. It's gone quiet. Um, so, where was, where's the fucking, oh yeah. It's gone rot. That's why just gone for I swear to God. I think I've actually got my downloads, but I'll get it from here. Is this the one? Mm, let's find out. Oh. Hang on, I'm just going to go up there and find. I 
swear to God. No, that isn't wrong. Let me go into my downloads. You'd think I didn't feed this cat, you really would, because it's so annoying. Come on, man. Uh... Got to be this one. Yeah, because it wasn't a long video, it was only a few minutes. It was only a few minutes. God's sake, get off. Get the feck off my screen. Just clicking you now, just good. Oh, God. Where is it? Oh, was it not that long? Oh, where's it? Here it is. It wasn't a long video, it was only a short video. I swear to God, this internet is so... We're having some really bad weather, and it's affecting my internet big time, and it shouldn't be, because... I've got one of the best internet suppliers going. I know I pay for it. Oh. Oh, share this tab. Now, the question is, with this video, here, you see someone moving. Is it one person or two people? Right? Is that just stones on the ground? Possibly. We're going to listen to it, okay? It looks like two people, like one's holding the other. So there's someone hobbling around. And I can see that camera person. Right, um. Oh. No, that isn't the one I want. So let's go back. Nope, that isn't the wrong one either, so let's go back in the box. I swear to God, I wish this would fucking work. I swear to God, I'll give up. I'll give, I'm losing the will to live at the moment with my internet.
Well, I'm gonna play it from here. Have you finished digging to Australia? Oh, 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 fucking screaming. Do you see that guy limping? Why is that on the floor there? And who's this guy in with the black top on and white trousers? And if he's just stabbed in the leg, why? Why would you go back to the Airbnb? And um, what's that I heard? Uh, an ambulance had been called? Just still, the more you hear, the more questions I have. Right? And... To be honest with you, I don't think we're going to get any further in this case because no one is telling the truth. No one is telling the truth. And the three of the people they really need to talk to, yeah, the two guys from the Airbnb and Lucy May, they've left. They've left the country. They've let three of the main people leave the country. Yeah, they could say, oh, you got my contact details. They don't know that's the right contact details. You can give them Buckingham Palace as your address. They wouldn't know. You know what I mean? You could give any address and they wouldn't know if that was your address or not. And why is that second guy so quiet? Or is this, whatever his name is, Cuisine, Cuisine, or whatever, being the fall guy? Is he going to be the fall guy? Because I want to know where that other guy is. And there's a lot of people who are on TikTok with that Johnny Vegas or whatever his name, the name is. You use that name as a TikTok name. Lots of people use that name. And a lot of people are being pulled into this who've got nothing to do with this. Nothing. But they have left, they have left three people who are heavily involved in this case, and you have a lot of information on this case. Right? If they just questioned Lucy, put a bit of pressure on her, she, she would have broke. I think she would have broke. Unless she's one of these main women in this organisation where drugs are being dealt. You know what I mean? But as I said, if these people, these head people with the, who deal with the drugs, they don't care who, who, who they take out. They really don't. So was that Jay limping on the beach? And who was, why was, why was uh, Lucy so upset?
right? Or was that someone else who got a leg injury? <coughs> <coughs> Perhaps they both had knives. Perhaps they both had knives. Yeah? I'd like to know if that other guy who was at that Airbnb had a limp afterwards, like two days later. If he was limping into the police station to give his statement. Because there's definitely something happened on that beach that night. So, that story about him going up to the Airbnb is slowly being ripped apart. Right? Because of the fo because of the messages. How they haven't changed like the snap uh when apparently Jay sent his location to Brad, yeah. It showed on one of them messages one something in the morning. And it was the day after Brad went missing. So they forgot to alter the time or to edit the time out. They forgot to edit all that out. So that's been picked up on. And the fact that when he sent that message, right, it wasn't Brad, uh, Jay that sent that message. It was a, a screenshot or a snapshot of Jay's phone that was sent to Lucy. And there was a second person up on that road because there's, there's a, a ping of one phone up on the roadside and one down by the path where the phone Last pinged. So we reckon, well, that woman last night, what was it again? Well, I'll show you that again, actually. Uh, what was it? Dango Kefa. Kefa. Right. Oh, come on. Right. Here it is. We're going to watch this again. If ever it loads up for me. Because it's very interesting. And I'll just take this off because I've had this picture on and you haven't seen a goddamn thing. Sorry about that. But we're going to watch this again, okay? Oh, so to God. Yep.
Yes, but like I said, they've let her fly home. They can call for the two guys and for her to come back, but they don't have to go back. But it just means she won't be working over in Tenerife anymore. And... You know how we heard about the uh, Airbnb, the guys had booked it for a couple of nights and they was always inside, they never, you never saw them, right? They're very quiet, very polite, right? The Airbnb was booked the night before. So Jay went missing on the... Sunday night, Monday morning, yep. The Airbnb was booked Saturday night. So they hadn't known each other all weekend, these guys. Plus, I've been looking at Airbnbs today over in Masca, right? Trying to find this one, and I couldn't find it. But I did find some really nice ones. Now, that one was only £40 a night. All right? Very basic, you know what I mean? 
you get what you pay for. But there was one for like 50 something or 65. Some were like 100 something pound now. But the 50 something and 60 something, 65. They was flipping gorgeous Airbnbs. Patios, de uh, table with sun chairs and um, table and umbrella things. Where you can sit outside, you have your breakfast, uh, and you or lunch or whatever you wanted to do. I could have a pile of sixty-five pound a night to have a much nicer Airbnb. That is so basic that Airbnb. It is, I would say, it's for people who just want to somewhere to lay their head at night, somewhere to eat something and go to sleep at night, and that is it. Because they've got no table and chairs outside by the by the front door area. They've got nothing pop except a nice potty plant on the step, and that is it. And that potty plant, if you look at that picture, that bottom step doesn't go all the way across. It only goes part of the way across. So they've got that potty plant there to stop people walking. To that side of that step and go, fly, go flying, thinking they're stepping onto a step and they're not. So you have to go to the other side of that plant pot, which will then enable you to step onto that step. It's only half of a step, it's not a full step, which is a bit weird. Why they didn't do a full step, I don't know. But it's very basic, right? Now, if I was going to go Airbnb and I'm going to pay £40 a night, I'd rather go and pay 59 or 65 and get a really nice Airbnb. Right? So, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I went on Airbnb site itself. I went on booking.com. Uh, I went on, what was this? Ever? I can't remember. I went on loads of sites today. Scrolling through each one of them, trying to find that Airbnb, and I couldn't find it. So I'm wondering, has it been took off the sites? Has this Airbnb been took off the sites? Because I could not find it anywhere. I would punch in Masca, and I bring up the map, and it brings up all the Airbnbs for that site. That site has for Masca. So I go on to another site, punching Masca to bedroom Airbnb. Nothing was coming up. So I don't know what site it is. I read it was on booking.com. But I went on booking.com and I couldn't find it. But I think this woman on there has something there with the phones. She really does. Because Jay, oh not Jay, Lucy didn't report him missing till later on in the afternoon. Till later on in the afternoon, which by then would be too late to start searching. Right? They'd start the search the next day. Yep. So it gives them time then to go up there and do what they've done with the phone and then come back and go, Well, this is where his phone last pinged. Right? But they didn't say that. They said, his phone last pinged in that ring or whatever, right? They didn't exactly say where. And then I heard it was pinging, you know that lookout station? Right? I'm going to get rid of this. Here we go then. The lookout pinged where tourists go. What am I doing? Google Maps. I'm only pointing in lookout station. Right, so... God, this mouse... 
I don't have to buy a new mouse or anything, I get a few months. But I suppose it doesn't help, being a cordless one, it doesn't help when you keep dropping it on the floor. Now that's where the b, &B was. Now I heard, I, that the phone last, well first of all I heard the phone last pinged here. Here, in this park, this big park here. Right, it probably covers this area as well, you know what I mean, but that's what we was told, and then I was told, I heard the last phone last pinged round this area, right, and then I heard, I seen someone talking about it, and they had it like the phone pinging round about here. Again, I'm not sharing it, I'm so sorry. So, one ping I heard was there, which was just from the, the Airbnb. One ping was somewhere in this area. And another ping was somewhere in this area. And now we know it was actually round here. Don't know how far down. It might have been just here, don't know. So that's the ping everyone is going on now, that one. But that isn't what we're coming out at first. If so, why didn't they say there? Why didn't they show us these screenshots that they had of his last location? Why have they only just come out in the last week or so since the search ended? Or well, just before the search ended. Right? And his father and his brother have walked these tracks to as far as they can until it's too unsafe for them to walk any further. Right? So they probably walked all down in probably a bit further. Right? Until it's too, too unsafe for them. And they said, you don't understand how thick this bush is. I can imagine how thick it is, just from, you know, let's go up here. Right, where it's got really dark. Right. You can see it's, it's deep. And it's right, it's not, you know what I mean? I would not want to try and get down there. I really wouldn't because, yeah, okay, you think, okay, we haven't got any bushes here, but it's all on even ground. All on even. And if you fall, you're going to hurt yourself. You're not landing in soft bushes, believe me, you're not. And that's why, it's, and that's the same there. It's like, yeah, it's, you're not, and it's steep. It's not narrow. It's not, oh, it's just a little hill. Oh, I can walk up that hill. It's not like that. You know what I mean? I would not want to attempt to walk through any of that. Yet the father has been down there. He's been walking his tracks. So he's been walking his tracks. And when they're putting a... Yeah, I see this place here. Right, Sweet Home Masker, that's an Airbnb, I think that's something like 60 something pound a night, and let's see what it says about it, yeah, through booking.com, 
Wrong gun. In fact, it's a So it don't come... It just got bar restaurant mask, it doesn't show the Airbnb. Right? So it doesn't show it as an Airbnb there. That's strange. Let's... Let's go down there. Perhaps it wasn't an Airbnb at that time. Because this was image captured December 2018. Perhaps it wasn't an Airbnb then. Well, that other place I pointed out to you. It's, I would pay to go and stay at that Airbnb. Airbnb, I really would. I wouldn't like to travel up there by car, but I'll go and pay for it. Right, because it's much so, so nice. But no, um, so you've got all this white noise going on. And I believe what that woman was saying about the phones. I really do. Because I don't believe Jay, if he's up in them hills, he was not took up there alive. Right? He was not took up there alive. And Brad and Lucy know a lot more. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if Brad gets in a flight home. Or very soon comes home with his darling mother. Because they can't teach him while in the UK. You know what I mean? They've done nothing wrong in the UK. Like people are saying, well, can't you arrest Lucy? No, because she's done nothing in the UK to break the law. You know what I mean? So, it, I don't know no more. I'm, I'm getting a bit annoyed with this case, to be honest with you. And to be, I might only, I'm looking for something else. There's ever, another case I want to look at where, where it's been going on for a while. I haven't talked about Sebastian for a while, so I might do a live on him tomorrow. Because this case is just getting beyond a joke now. There's nothing coming out that makes... The only thing that comes out is like that thing about the phone call. That makes sense. Right? That video on the beach, that makes more sense to me, to me, than them saying Brad got into a car, uh, Jay got into a car, and went up there. Now, the rumour is people have seen Brad get into that car as well that night. Plus, that guy, Quasim or Wazim or whatever his name is, he said, I invited him back to mine because his friends had all left him and he had nowhere to go. Um, where do you think he'd been staying since, what, when he got there Thursday, Friday? Where do you think he's been staying, mate? On the beach. He had his his own apartment or whatever it was. You know what I mean? I should imagine he'd be sharing it with Brad, maybe. A two-bedroom apartment sharing it with Brad or one of his other friends, Brandon. Well, I don't think Brandon's got anything to do with this. Brad, yes. Yes. 
And he's saying in that message he put out on his Instagram that apparently he said, don't you think I've spoke to the police and told them all my all the information I know just because I'll come out 10 days after later and tell you this. You all ask me why. Yeah, we want to know why now. Why wasn't it brought out in the beginning? Hold on, I'm just going to go and kill a cat. Right, so I don't, I don't get the Spanish police how they could let three main witnesses leave the island, and they be, just because they they they've said I had nothing to do with it, Mister Policeman. I left early and alone. At them eyelashes, at them police officers, Miss Miss Lucy, Lucy, right? And then you got these two guys, and I think the reason they let him go is because of his connection of who he knows. That's why they let him go. And I think his friend is must have some connection. As well, some connections going on there. I really do. Because to let three people go like that, three main people leave the country, doesn't seem right. So, like, if I say it was me, right, and this happened. Uh, okay, so it was me involved. I was Lucy. Wouldn't be her. Wouldn't want to be her. But well, say it was. And do you think? And say it wasn't in Tenerife. Say it was in England. Yeah. But I came from Tenerife. I wasn't English. I was t from Tenerife. Do you think they'd let me leave the country? Knowing I, I was one of the main witnesses. Not on my life would they let me leave the country. No way. Just because I backed my eyelashes up, some of the police officers over here. It wasn't me, Mr. Officer. I was I went home early alone. Yeah, we all know you, Lucy. Right. Do you really think they'd let me go? No. And plus, as someone said, they need to have an officer monitoring the social network sites. Because as I said, a lot of it is nasty stuff, which I don't believe in. I don't believe in these ransom phone calls, these ransom messages that are being sent to the mother and the father. I don't believe in these videos that are being released. It's disgusting. At the end of the day, there's two parents whose son is missing. We may not like what he did in the past. But as people say, the past is the past. You look to the future. Perhaps that's what he was doing. He was looking to the future. It just got mixed up by Lucy. Come on, you know what I mean? You, you, 
some young girls coming up to you and you're like, telling you, oh, I've she lives and how she goes on all these holidays and all she does is sell these drugs. They give her the drugs, she sells them, she meets some, she hangs them back to back at the end of each night and gives them what she hasn't sold plus the money. And then each month they pay her so much. Yep. Do you not really think that will sway a young lad, a 19 year old, to see the life she's living? Think I could do that. You know what I mean? But what that Rolex? Rolex have got nothing to do with a watch. It wasn't a Rolex that was stolen. Rolex is a, a name of a ecstasy pill, a little green ecstasy pill, right? Um, I can't remember the name of the watch, brand of the name of the watch, but it's very expensive. Oh, yes, there was a video put out about, was it on TikTok or Instagram? Instagram. I like Instagram. Oh, yeah. Oh, Instagram. I'm okay with Instagram. I, I haven't posted much on here, but I haven't posted anything for a while, actually. I'm going to let's have a look at this search. Right. It's in it's in the reels. Uh I don't know. But there's a, uh, a like in the reels on Instagram, and on the arm of one of the guys. In the car, not Jay, he had this watch on his wrist. Now, where did I see that? Did I see it? Oh, God, get the fuck up there. Uh, where did I see that? It's so annoying because I know I've seen it somewhere. Oh no. What we got there? Let's see. AP Watch. It was an AP Watch brand. Oh. 
Very. Mm, let's see what this one's got to say. Wow. Wow, so the UK police are going over there. It is. Spanish police don't want, and um, like if someone was saying on a channel today, the Spanish police, if they are calling in about outside police, like from the UK to come in, it means they've got a hand over some of their control. They don't have full control of what could happen. They don't have control of what the UK police might do. The UK police might do daily updates or every other day updates. You know what I mean? To squash all these stupid flipping rumours and try looking at the facts of the case, the true facts. Right? I don't believe and just have someone monitor these network sites like Twitter and YouTube. Twitter and YouTube are the big ones. Well, not so much YouTube, more Twitter. So, I'm glad that's, that's finally happened. The UK police are going over. Yep. Finally, let's get some proper searches going on in this case. You know what I mean? But where was it I seen? I know it wasn't a TikTok. What did I see? Uh. I can't think where I've seen it now, but it had, and I said it, it was on Instagram, and I can't find anything on Instagram, in the reels, let's just have a look, um, I don't even know what to, could it be on Lucy May's? No, she's just got posts and tagged. As soon as this case is over, I'm going to unfollow her. I'm only following her for see what, she, what she's up to. She hasn't posted anything on here that I know. I 
to look at what she's posted on here. Oh yeah, this is her lo latest post. Oh, did anyone see those messages where this woman, this girl got in touch with her and she said, uh, I don't know why, but every time I put a comment up, it's being deleted. Can you tell me why? And she replied, because it's, we don't know. She said something and she said, we know, it was about the church, the sighting of embodied church. And it said something like, we know it seemed, and then she, quite quickly underneath, she goes, we know it wasn't him. And I thought, hold oh, on, you just said you know it's him. You know what I mean? The truth slips up, slips you up sometimes, love. Right, Jace Slater back up, blah, blah, blah. No. Gemma Louise, 2009. No one knows anything. It's just speculation. Leave her be and wait for facts for the actual. I think they are now asking for the UK help because I think they need their help in finding out about those two guys. Yep. And the drug connection. I really do. No. Oh, God. So that was the, la the latest one she put up today. Hmm. So people are still thinking he's alive. I don't know. I I don't know what means. I don't know. Let's have a look. Sloughing. Yes, Rolex is slang for Coke. I've even got a picture of it. But it won't let me look. I've got to change it to J, uh, a, another setting. Right, so I've got to go and alter, edit it, and change it to JP4, something like that, before this streaming app will let me add it to my program but yes i found that out yesterday sweetheart thank you for telling me so when they talk about a rolex it isn't about a watch it is the watch that apparently got stolen was an ap watch and it's worth a lot of money and i swear to god i wish now i've written down i've got a nasty habit of not doing this but half the time when i'm watching something on youtube I'm lying on the sofa just chilling because I'm so tired and I'm watching it and I don't have my notepad or book by the side of me and that was one of today's, I was t so tired today, I just could not get motivated, it was killing me to get up, it really was to get motivated. So, and I was seeing it where this guy had this watch that was apparently the same style watch, an AP brand watch, on his wrist. And, you know, for the love of me, I can't find it now. Let me see if I can get it on YouTube somewhere. Um... Oh. Come on. God's sake. Swear to God, I hate my, my mouse. Uh, 
Right, Jay. Right. Jay Slater. Huh? IP Watch. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you some else as well. Remember I was talking about the lag who was out there searching? I'll talk about it while I'm doing something else, while I'm searching for something here. Right? Now, they go on about those trainers, yeah, that he's wearing. But there's pictures of Jay wearing white Trainers that day, not black, white. And yet they're saying that on that doorstep, the picture is of Jay because of the black trainers. Right? But he wasn't wearing black trainers, he was wearing white. There's pictures of him wearing white. There's people said he was wearing white trainers. No. Right, this is what's annoying a lot of searches. Right, so they can't even get the fact, tell them right. This is what he was wearing, right? Because there's no definite whether he's wearing white shorts, grey shorts, or black shorts. We don't know. They're saying we know what top he's wearing, but what shorts was he wearing? They're saying they was like a grey, the same colour as his top. But then others are saying, no, he's wearing black. So it's like they're saying about them trainers. So people have gone out and they're looking for that brand of marking, that footprint from that trainer, right, on the ground. Now they're looking for a certain type of footprint on the ground, yeah? They're not finding any, but they're looking for it. Then they find out after they've done all this searching, no, 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 he was wearing white trainers. It's a different brand. So what are these searchers supposed to do if they can't get the facts straight on what the flipping lad was wearing? How can they help? How can they even search for it by footprints or by clothing? Say a piece of his shorts got caught on a cactus plant or something like that, or one of the bushes. Because you would get caught up on it. Your clothes would get ripped on those bushes and cactus plants. So, what if they found some And they thought, well, this is white, he was wearing grey. Or no, this is white, he was wearing black. They could discard it. You know what I mean? Because no one, they're not coming out and saying exactly the colour shorts he's wearing and the trainers he's wearing. And they're saying he's wearing black ones. I don't think now that if that is the case, that photo has been edited and that photo was from a different day. Or that photo is someone else. Standing on the doorstep, having a smoke. And if you're so scared, why would you go back to the uh, Airbnb after you spoke to the woman the first time, then come back out a little while later, ask again, and then go back to the uh, Airbnb and then leave? Right? You wouldn't stand with your back to the door if you're scared of someone, something happening in the Airbnb, would you?
So what happened to make him scared? Oh, and why would he be laughing and joking with Brad on the phone? Yeah, because that's what Brad said. I was laughing and joking, saying, look where I am, blah, 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 and all this lot. It wasn't until he turned on his location that we realised how far away he was. Right? And then he comes off that phone call and he talks to someone else who we know was Lucy. Right? We know it was Lucy. Right? Or so they say he talked to Lucy. We don't know if he did. There's no proof. The only proof we've got is an outgoing call to Jay's phone. Now, that could have been Brad answering the phone, just to make out to say, look, see, he did answer his phone. I spoke with him for a couple of minutes. Right? We don't know if that was Jay. And for that inspector, that investigator, that in detective, whatever, to say, it was definitely Jay. No, you don't know that. These people are so conniving, it's unbelievable. You are believing every fucking word that comes out of their gobs. You're not questioning it. anything they say. Nothing. Sloth. How are those guinea pigs? Anyway, so they're not questioning whatever they say. Like, they're believing them. Now, there's one guy who's an ex-detective. He's an older guy now. And it's something I, I heard I, all years ago. And it was about an an ex-detective, and he said he was always taught, right, and this was an American guy, ex ex-detective, and he was always taught that when you went to any case, right, you look on it as a murder, and then you tick off the boxes, no, that didn't happen, that isn't here, you've got forensics, no, all clear, and you're ticking it off. Until you get down to, like, okay, this person's just walked out the house. You know what I mean? You start from the top and work your way back. And this guy said today, a detective said, he's an ex-detective, retired, everything. They're good. Noises ever cleaned them out today and gave them loads of high and veg and their happy squeaks were adorable. Oh... Oh, I'll see you on Sunday. I'll be over. Anyway, I was supposed to come over today, but I just was not, I was not, I wasn't motivated. I couldn't get motivated at all. It took me two hours just to go out and cook a pizza in my air fryer. It took me two hours to get up, get the pizza out of the freezer, and then go back into the kitchen to put it in my air fryer to cook it and it's three quarters of it is still sitting there now because I've only had a quarter of, of the pizza I've got no motivation at the moment anyway what was I saying so he said there's, he said there's an old saying treat it as murder until it's proven otherwise You got a new Hoover today, so happy days. Yay! <laughs> what brand? I'll tell you if it'll last you or not. I'll tell you, I brought a, a Hoover years ago, and I'm not joking, years ago, for £40. Bush. Hmm. I don't know about them. Don't know. I brought one from Argus years and years ago for forty pounds. Forty pounds. And I thought I didn't have a lot of money at the time and I thought, well, if it breaks down in a month's time, I don't care, it's only forty pounds. You know what I mean? And 
we had a dog and a cat. And we used to... Uh, our vacuum broke down, so for a while we were sweeping through the flat with a hard brush. I'm not joking, we got that vacuum out and you could hear it sucking up, ripping the hair out of the carpet. 40 pounds. And it was a bagless one as well. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The one we brought from Argus all years ago was, um, was it not right up? Uproot. It was an uproot one. And it was really big. They don't sell them no more. Now I've got a, a, star, a shark. A shark one. And I love my shark. Anyway. So, um, I don't like pull along ones. They keep hitting me on the ankles. What's the saying now? Oh, I forgot what I was saying, sloth. Anyway, so you treat it as a, a murder until proven otherwise. And I thought, yes, and this is what you should do in every case. Do I report it as a missing person? No, no. Okay, missing person. Treat it as a murder. And you treat it as a murder and you tick the boxes off. That Airbnb should have been checked the first day. So she reported him missing on the Monday afternoon, Monday evening. They start the search on the Tuesday. Right? It's caught a bit of loose carpet and it ripped it, it up. And haha, <laughs> and the suction has are very pleasing. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> 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 Anyway, so, um, <coughs> that Airbnb should have been checked the first day. Should have been done on the Tuesday. Before anyone had gone in and cleaned it, whatever. Before those guys had even moved out. They should have checked it. The car they was using. Has that been forensically checked? Nothing been said about the car that they rented. That needs checking. All these boxes need being ticked off first, right? Like the fight on the beach. They need people looking into that, yeah? So they've got the searchers out in the hills. They've got them out there doing their job, okay? Then bring detectives in, right? Uh, who can speak Spanish, maybe. Someone who can speak Spanish would help. I wonder if they've done forensic searches in the Airbnb because blood will still be found even if it's cleaned. Yes, that's what I'm wondering. But they said, that, now I had to laugh about it because, and I said this last night, because when I used to work as a, a care worker in the community, in the winter, you didn't like going in the, their homes with wet shoes when your shoes were all wet. Like, especially when you've just trapped through a two foot of snow to get there, you know what I mean? So, we used to put these covers, those covers on our shoes. And I thought, yeah, yeah, we're putting, we're doing a forensic cleaning here. You know what I mean? So, I think it's just, so they didn't, I can't even say they didn't, that they didn't take anything from the outside in with them because they should have had to be honest with you, they should have put the white, all in one little white angry pandy suit things on. Yeah. Even though it might be wrong, I tried drinking Jay's phone. You didn't. And it's straight to voicemail. I saved it to see if anything happens on his WhatsApp or something. Oh, right. I don't know his number and I don't want it. Right, I don't need his number. I know where his last ping was now, so I don't know his. I don't need his phone number. If I needed to, his phone number for the ping, uh, for the pinging, that would have been ideal if I could have got his phone number. But we know where it is now. So, 
nothing has been, they need, as I said, get these searches in, get them doing their, what they know what to do on the hills, right, and get detectives in, working alongside the Spanish detectives so they can probably speak the Spanish, yeah, and go and check the car, get it forensically checked, hospitals on that night, yeah, and get them to show you the police, our police, the footage from that camera f facing that beach, because you can go on to a live site and it streams 24 hours a day, right? Let's see if I can find get it again. I've got to find it first. Hey. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Um. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a live feed, and there's several of them, several live feeds around that area where he was staying, right? But on this one day, on the 17th, that live feed has been removed. Why? I don't know. Could it be they have got something on that live feed that they picked up? And that's why they've removed him. Could be evidence. Now, if I was the police, get them to show you that live feed. I can watch Dung DC Centre live right now, but no sound. So I'm wondering if the footage is showing on the beach is legit because it's the sound. That wasn't took from a live feed. I think that was someone's video on a phone. Because why would this, like, on the live feed, it just literally stands still. It doesn't swing around. It just stays in the one area. And you just see people walking past, back and forth, back and forth. But then you've got other places along that route where they do live feeds. It doesn't swing around. So I think that video was took from someone on a balcony, balcony or something. And you'd gone, you sing it, and then thought, oh, I'll just go over it, oh, I'll best go back, and you know what I mean? That's why I could have, I could thump the shit out of that person, because whoever released that footage had it on their phone or whatever. But the ones, the live feeds, they just stay focused on one area, and as I said, there's like six, seven of them all the way around that area so but that's why I think they took that live feed it's not up on there you can't find it you can pull up any live feed from the day before and the day after but on the 17th the live feed has been removed so if I was the police UK police if you're listening get them to show you that live feed Get them to show you that live feed. Get them to do the forensic search on the hire car. Go and get the hospitals checked. Because I heard that apparently after that, ruck, that little ruckus on the beach and everyone had left, an ambulance turned up. So... I don't know who it is, just some I heard. And today, all I've been doing, literally forcing myself to do this. How's Bobby and Toby doing? About to die. A slow, painful death. Toby's just been crying for the last hour. I don't know what for, because he's got food and water there, and he's got to clean it, tray. Bobby's just letting Toby get on with it at the moment. 
little bob, fucking Bobby last night. I'm in bed, and I've got, he's come up to me, and he's snuggling, snuggling, snuggling me to get on your cover. So I've lifted my cover up, right? And I thought, nah, I knew he wouldn't go on yet because I get too hot under there. Right, so he goes away, then comes back, and he's nudging up my covers again, so I've lifted my cover up, and he bit me, went to bite my hand. Fuck off. You want to sleep on my bed, you don't bite me. So then he ran off. After I asked him what the hell are you biting me for, he ran off, and then he come back about half an hour later and went to sleep. See, I don't let Bobby get to me. I will not let that little fucker get to me. Not like Tracy and Simon did. Right? He was the boss over them in that house, I think. They wasn't the boss, he was. And you can't allow any animal to be the boss of you in your home. You can't. You do that and you are fit. Because Simon said to me, I said... I've gone up to Bobby, and I've gone, you will, and I've gone eye to eye with him, and I've scared him out. And they say, scare an animal out, and the first, he'll move, they, they'll, they'll move the head, they'll move the head. And Simon said, don't do that with Bobby, he'll attack you. Did he have? He moved his head, walked away with his head lowered. And so I say, okay. I'm not going to win with you, am I? No, you fucking are. Anyway, so they need to get all this done. It's too, it's late now, but DNA, blood can be picked up. I've known cases where they've gone in two years later and they found blood in a house. Now, in Masca, Spain, they have, like, the tiled floor, don't they? Now, if there's blood in there, He's got to get in between them cracks. It will get in between them. Doesn't matter how much you clean. It will get in between. So I don't think they did. Don't think they did a forensic search on the Airbnb because they only put the little blue covers on. They didn't put the whole cover on, and they need to do a forensic search in there. Right. Even any residue from any drugs can be f still be found. Still be found. So, um, I'm glad the UK police have now been asked to go in. But I think it's because they've done that search on that Airbnb and I think they may have found something. And they now need our help. Yeah, because the two guys who they stupidly let leave the country, they need to speak to. And they need the UK police on their side then to get them, to get those two guys to talk to them. Surely there's CCTV from surrounding places that can track Jay's movements or have they already tried it. Well, to be honest with you, uh, I don't know if there's any CCTV up. Hold on. Let's just pull this up. Right. This is where he was staying. Yeah. There. I don't know if I think there was any... And I've not... I've gone along there on Google Maps. I've literally clicked all the way along this route on Google Maps. There might be some CCTV up there because there's a cafe up there. Right? But the other thing that I know, Jay was not up on those hills. You know why? Out of all those dogs they had up on those hills and their mountains, not one dog picked up his scent. Not one dog. And they say dogs, you can't re rely on the dogs. Out of all the dogs, you're going to get one dog at least. At least one dog pick up on a scent. You're going to. And they had loads of dogs up there. 
right? They had helicopters up there, they had drones up there. If he was anywhere in here, or in here, anywhere around here, or down in these gorges, anywhere, I think it would be hard for helicopters and drones to find anyone in the gorges because you've got like the caves. But apparently, they said, you know where he was here, at the Airbnb, they've searched the caves all around this way. And some of the small caves that were around this way, they've searched all them. Why have I never seen that before? I think, oh, oh, right, thank you. Uh, I've never noticed that one before. I've just clicked on it. <laughs> right? So this is where the Airbnb was. Yeah. And he was said to have been seen walking up this road. Right, and it takes about half an hour from here to walk up here. Hang on. Am I going to get anywhere? No. I've got to come off. I'm not. Ah, quite enjoying that view. <laughs> right. It takes about half an hour to come from there To walk up to here. Right. Now, I can't put... Like, I will put directions in, click directions, but because there's no place, name of a place there, I can't, there's nothing to go to. But, the phone pinged round about here. Okay, Round about there, wherever. Won't let me ping. Oh, right, photo spear. Why haven't I got a photo spear up here then? But it was round about here. Now, that Christopher guy, he said he walked this and he got to round about where the ping. Which was. Right. Um, was it said was about here, yeah, about there, and he tried getting up through these bushes, thinking perhaps he was trying to get up to the main road, which is very steep, quite steep, and <coughs> <coughs> and it's just so hard to do, right. See if it will let me go on this. Now, this guy lives in Tenerife, and that's why he's out there looking. What's this one? This is one of these. Hmm. Mm hmm. Right. I'll show you the one. This is one. All right. Come on.
Now, as I said, if he's walking through that, right, what are the chances that he hasn't got, his clothing hasn't got caught on you, right? It, it could catch a thread off his shorts or a thread off his t-shirt, anything. But there's nothing, there's nothing, there's no scent of him. The dogs have not picked up a scent. Nothing. So he was knocked up there physically himself. If he is up there, and I truly believe, right, they've got everyone now looking up here. Right? No, not there. Yeah. Wait, Where was it? Where was the phone last pinged? They've now got everyone looking around this area. Right? Which could take weeks. Weeks. When I think his body, if he's up there, is here. He's round here. That's where the... Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get my air view again. Oh, my God. Okay. Select a place to see travel time. From... There to there. Thirty minutes. Can you see that? Thirty minutes from there. Not let me. It says select a place to see travel time. I can't give a travel time a place because there's no name. Right, let's try putting in this. Lanco. To there. Wow. By car, 10 minutes. Right from there to there, 10 minutes, 9 minutes. What are you if you're walking? Let's try see what it says if you're walking. Right. From there. To say there, 43 minutes. So, if his phone pinged round about there, that will make it about 15 minutes from there. Yeah, so I'd say, yeah, here it was 30 minutes. And that's what they said. He'd been walking for 30 minutes. But why wouldn't you go back to the Airbnb? That doesn't make sense. He wasn't scared when he stood outside having a cigarette. He wasn't scared when he left the Airbnb to ask the woman the time. He wasn't scared when he went back into the Airbnb, come out again a short while later to ask the woman again. Right? And then went back into the Airbnb again, grabbed his stuff and started walking up the hill. He wasn't scared doing all that, was he? <coughs> he wasn't scared when he was talking to Brad on the video call. He's just saying, oh, look where I am, right? And then Brad's going to put your location on. So he has, apparently. 
and that's when they realised how far away he was. But then he takes a phone call, and that's when it's all frantic, where he's going, I'm getting where I am, I'm lost, I've got no water, my phone's on 1% battery. Boom, phone dies. He managed to get out a lot with 1% battery. I'm sorry. My son said his phone can go for a while on 1%. I don't think you'd be able to get as much out as he was saying on 1%. And don't forget, he'd just come off a video call. So even with 1% left after a video call, your phone's going to cut out. It's just going to die on you straight away. It's not going to even connect the phone call. It will just die on you. So, let's go back to the screen now. So, I haven't seen any CCTV around there. But as I said, you've got cars going up and down that way. You've got hikers around that way. Right? That, at that place, um, at this place you get a lot of people going up there because you see the views over. You know what I mean? You can see the views all the way over. And that Airbnb, if I went to Masca, that's the place I'd book. <coughs> <coughs> if I was going away for a few days and I just wanted to get quiet, like a long weekend, and I just wanted to get quiet weekend, that's where I'd book. It's about, I think it's said 65 a night. There's others around here. Right, there's others. Um, okay. I'll take that off. Take that off. I don't want that. Right, we're going. So, he was not up there alive. As that guy said, he came to mind alive, he left alive. Yeah, we really going to believe you, mate. Both you and your little psychic friend whose cafe you run or managed. Both done for drug dealing. Good one. And we're supposed to believe you. Yep, no cow. I think that's an Airbnb there, but I know there's another one somewhere. But it's quite expensive, that one. There's one round here, which is like a hundred and some odd pounds a night. Whew. But I'll definitely rent that one, but that is going all along that road and then down this way, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, that will make it about 30 minutes to get to that location up here. We'll make it about 30 minutes and he said he'd been walking. Now, isn't it funny how they know that? He'd been walking for 30 minutes. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they show the pin location. When? On a Tuesday night? Tuesday? After they've been up there on the Monday night, well, after they've been up there, was it Tuesday morning, early hours, one o'clock in the morning, one or two o'clock in the morning, right? There's two phones. One was there, and one was there. So someone took his phone down here, right? Sent the location. Whoever was here sent the location to the person there 
right, took a screenshot of his phone, of Jay's phone, yeah, sent the screenshot then to this person up here. And then got rid of the phone somewhere. Because that's where it last pinged, round right about there. And it's just coincidental they knew it was about 30 minutes when she spoke to the police. When she put that, uh, she even per put a post up on the Monday, I believe, before Jay had been reported missing. She put a post up on one of the Tenerife's Facebook pages or whatever before Jay had even gone being reported missing. So I think this is why I'm now asking UK police to come in, right? Because I had the family put pressure on them to call the police in, the UK police. Because you call the UK police in, they'll send all their experts over. Right, free of charge. I send them all over. Yep. And then they then can ask our police to do an investigation in the UK to check up on these two guys and for Lucy May or Lucy Law, whatever her name is. That's why. Right, I'm just going to check TikTok once more to make sure nothing's come up. Just see if there's anything in news. Because normally when I log off, something comes up. Uh, uh, breaking news, missing teams. No, that isn't breaking news. That's just, that's just BS again, you know what I mean? Uh... Oh, do I go live to discuss? Let's have a look. This is a woman who put that I showed her. Uh, Oh wow, well, she didn't say much there. Right. I'm glad, I'm glad they're doing the uh, UK police.
Okay. Nothing new there. Yeah, keep all on Twitter about the UK. Police in Tenerife give permission for Jay Slate's family to bring in their own search and rescue. Mm. I'm follow. Yeah, I've got nothing on your page. So I'm not following you. At least I've got some little videos on my page. Uh, so we know that, so we all know that. Locals finally speak out and just like, no. Nope. This isn't everything, right? They've got flyers for Jay, right? Which apparently they have been putting out and putting to lampposts or whatever. But none of them are in Spanish. They need to have some flyers put in Spanish so the Spanish people there can see, you know what I mean? Let's read. What is going on? Where is that? If he's out in that, if he's out there in the hills, I'm sorry to say this, is no longer with us. He's lying. Uh, he's no longer with us if he's still out in them hills. There's no way could he survive. He couldn't survive that long. Let's just see what this guy said two days ago. Come on.
Yes, yeah, be very gay. Right. So the new news is that they are bringing in the UK police and they're bringing in the search teams. Good. Just don't send in Lancashire police, please. Because they're crap. They didn't even find Nicola Bully. Right? They say they said TikTokers and all that lot and YouTubers and whatever don't help in cases. Well, I'm sorry to say, but it was the psychic that found Nicola Bully. They was walking along the road when they seen her coming up the river and how she caught got caught up in the bushes in the river. Right? So when law enforcement and all these people say, Oh, these YouTubers and these TikTokers, they don't help. They hinder. No, there's a lot, as I said, there's a lot of lies going about. But behind every lie, there's some truth. You've just got to find, pick out that truth. Right? So, you just got to pick the... The uh, truth out. Let's have a look at this because she said she went live. Right? Let's have a look at this one. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I don't know. Uh, not yet. No. Nope. Right, I'm coming off there anyway because it's getting late and I need to take my phone is probably died and that's probably why my alarm hasn't gone off. But I need to get off there. I'd just like to say thank you to those who have been here tonight. Um, X, thank you again for being here with me tonight. Please leave me a heart. Please leave me a comment. I do check. If not straight away, I do check the next day. I do acknowledge all my comments. If you're watching on replay on YouTube, if you like what you see in here, please consider subscribing. Right, help a young help a, a young lady out here. Please like and share this video. Uh, leave me a comment. I do get, as I said on YouTube, I get back to all your comments. I either reply or acknowledge that I've seen your comments. If I feel I can, if I feel that you need to reply, I will reply. So, I'm going to leave it at that. And say good night. And I'll see you all maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It's Saturday, so I might be on. I might not. See what happens. Okay? So, till then, good night. And thank you all for being here. Thank you so much.